can you make a car quicker than a supercar for 15 grand? Now that's exactly the discussion we had in the pub with Scott. And Scott reckons that it's not doable, which obviously it can be done. But incredibly, Scott gave us the budget to give it a go. I can't believe we proposed this to Scott and he went, yeah, all right. <laughs> So here are the rules we have to play by. We've got a £15,000 budget for the car and any mods to beat Scott in a supercar around a single lap. But it has to remain road legal, has to be more practical than a supercar, and will be the ones driving it. The first thing to think about is which car do you pick? Do you pick something cheaper, like an E46 or a 350Z, or do you spend a bit more money and get a BMW M3 or a WRX STI? But an M3 wouldn't beat a Lambo around the track. So we sent Will out to go and pick a car. Wait till you see what I've chosen. It's genius. It's genius. It's genius. He seems to think he's been really clever with this. I have been really clever. Really clever. Do, you can't, can you guess what that is? It's a saloon of some sort. There's a hint. Oh. oh. It is? It is. It's... Nice. See? I see what you're thinking. F full wheel drive. Full wheel drive. Turbo. Turbo. Callum didn't yet know the full extent of my genius. Don't go to the bank. Don't go, to no, the don't go to the back. So this is all. Is you it need. rusty? No, no, it's no, it's fine. What have you done? No, it's a wagon. Why <laughs> you bought an estate no. car? So you think this is clever? I think this is really clever. You bought a heavier car. I bought, no, it's cheaper. We have a fifteen thousand pound budget. This car was just under four grand. This may seem mad, but let me explain. A Wagon WRX is around two thousand pounds cheaper than the equivalent saloon, but it's not two thousand pounds slower. Yes, we could have spent all our budget on the much faster STI, but that would leave us with no budget for mods. So that gives us more money to buy more parts to go more fast. And more practical. <laughs> Our wagons are cool. Our wagons are cool. Our wagons, are, wagons cool. are cool. I can see where your thinking has gone. When people see us turn up, they'll go, wow, the thinking man's track car. As you can see, it's in good condition. There's no... Apart run. from uh, the wheels. Yeah, someone's curbed the wheels. And, um... And someone's painted the front bumper with what looks to be a toothbrush. So what Will has bought is a 227 horsepower, two litre flat four with all wheel drive and weighs just under 1500 kilos. Currently the 0 60 time is six seconds, but we think we can get that a fair way down. What do you think we can get it to? I think safely, without making things bendy roddy, <laughs> we could get 300 out of it. 300, tires, suspension, Scott is going to be crying in a Lamborghini. What do you think Scott's going to think to this? Scott's going to say it's rubbish. We know he's going to say it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> this is what your money bought, Scott. The Honda Civic. Can you tell what it is yet? Oh, you put a rally car. A rally car. Okay, a rally fine. Car, we'll yeah. take that. <laughs> the only thing that Will didn't tell me, Scott, is um, it's an estate car. <laughs> Imagine how embarrassing it'll be to be beaten in a supercar by one of us chunks yeah, in a wagon. Yeah, in someone's Nan's Subaru. <laughs> We're going to put a big turbo on it. Yeah, massive. It'll be literally a car attached to a turbo. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. He's feeling confident. Okay. Yeah, you're done for, Scott. He doesn't know what's going to happen. He doesn't hit know what's yeah. hitting. No. Will we turn up to the track in this? He better have something good. Before we chose what mods would be spending our budget on, we had a look underneath the Subaru to see what might need fixing. It smells funny. Japanese cars have a smell. Okay. And also, a car like this has probably been owned by an old person at some point. Look at this. So this is a flat four. Flat four. Boxer engine. Very ugly. Very Look at ugly. all these bits on there. No one wants to see an alternator there. And this intercooler seats. though. Yeah, top mount Functional intercooler. Functional scoop. Everyone loves a scoop. That's fine. No, there Should is... we get it on the lift? Richard? Yeah, it's right forward of it. So our, our first mod has arrived. It has, finally. But everyone will see that next episode. Yep. <laughs> oil? oil? What's yeah. leaked? Well, I did have a look when I, when, when I bought it. Yeah. And it looks like a drive shaft boot, which is fine. Okay, right? so it's been flicking oil around. It's just everywhere. been flicking oil around, yeah. Overall, this is clean. Do you see anything particularly crusty? So, seals are good. The exhaust, hmm. Yeah, but that's going to come off, probably. Yeah, it's going to come off. I've, You've done all right. I think it's a, it is a, a, a peach. We had a look around it and we thought it was great, but we're idiots. So, we had our local Richard take a look. I mean, it's a bit. Bit surface rusty, but it's not that bad, is it? It might even actually have a genuine MOT on it. He did say he'd just put a year on it and it was completely advisory free, which, you know, is surprising given the surprising. dry shaft. Yeah. Yeah, and a small crack in the windscreen. Yeah. Are you saying that this is a good car? It doesn't seem too bad, does it? 
I mean, I'll take that. So unfortunately, I've actually bought something good. I thought it would have been better to buy something. Buy some good. Shocking, <laughs> shocking, yes. I think we take it for a drive. Yeah? Yeah. I think we should load it up safely on the roads, but yes. just feel what it's like side to side. I've driven it briefly and it's good. Before Callum finds out why I got this car so cheap, only 5% of you are actually subscribed. We'll need every subscriber we can get if we're going to beat Scott in a supercar, so make sure you hit that button. First drive then? Yep. Excited? Where's the car? Oh my... Will! It doesn't move! Well, yeah, I didn't mention it earlier. The clutch is very hard. Yeah, but if I'd mentioned it earlier... You oh, would, my word. If I mentioned it earlier, you would have moaned. My leg is up here when the clutch engages. Yeah, there's, there's a slight... There's some clutch wear. But that's one of the things we're going to upgrade. <laughs> the clutch slips quite a lot. <laughs> it doesn't move. <laughs> it, it slips when you change. It slips when you change. Wait, you, you'll find it. it. It slips all the time. After realising how dead the clutch was, I suddenly realised how Will had got this car so cheap. It's fine in first gear. <laughs> I don't want to push it too far, otherwise we're going to be pushing yeah, this be, back. Yeah, we're going to be at the side of the road. I mean, it's an car. It drives, it turns, and it stops. Ish. Yeah. Stops ish. Stops ish. We check the brakes while there's no one around. Yep, Jackson, prepare. prepare. Jackson, you ready? Brace. It stopped. It did stop. Oh. It is quite painful. Oh, it would be quite quick if the clutch engaged. Are you, are you less confident about my purchase? Yes. Because of the clutch? Yes. I think it's a minor inconvenience. I'm also imagining two, two of us replacing the clutch. Yeah, that will be fine. What is it, a couple of bolts? A <laughs> couple of bolts. <laughs> and exhaust off, drive shaft out. Yeah. Seeing as Callum was so pleased with my purchase, we then needed to decide which parts we'd need to buy to beat Scott. So what is this? You've picked... I've picked a, a giant V8. No. Luckily, I'd done my homework and put the parts into three different categories. And we've got a bargain basement option, a middle of the road option, and splash the cash. Here's our conundrum. We have a £15,000 budget and we've already spent £3,900 of that on the car. That might sound like a lot, but it's surprisingly difficult to work out where to spend your money. Look at exhaust, for example. Our cheapest version is £300 and the most expensive is more than double that at £750. But is it really worth the extra £450 when we'll probably get similar gains from both? Of course, there can be downsides to cheaper parts, but we're trying to figure out which bits are really worth splashing out on. Especially when all we're going for is a lap time. So now we needed to pick from these options to find the balance between performance and cost. So like wheels, we've got, what are the cheap ones? We don't want good wheels. We just want wheels that look nice and are cheap. They're hideous. They look great. But they're I, the cheap option. Okay. All right. And they're only £187 a wheel. Oh, that's nice. They're quite good. The white, I was they're thinking white, white wheels on this car. But more money. More money. Thousand yeah. pounds ish. So that is the balance here of like how much how much money do you spend on each mod? Because I think always spend the the maximum you can on tires. Tires are like one of those things. More grip everywhere gains you more time. No, more power gives you more time. Uh, brake upgrade. Just uh, I think just pads and discs. I think the standard discs with maybe some better pads. We only need to be quicker for one lap. Definitely needs a clutch. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Intake, exhaust, remap will do a good one. Remap will think we need a good one. Aero, we could get some mad aero. I'm thinking massive rear wing. <laughs> like massive rear wing. Like huge rear wing. We need a steering wheel. Look at this steering wheel. It's rubbish. And it's massive. Yeah. It's like I'm in a 50s movie. So make sure you subscribe, because this is going to be a multi-part series where we add more and more mods to this Subaru up until one of us can beat Scott in a supercar. Oh, yeah. Should we get fitting some coilovers? I think we should. Stick them in. Get it slammed. <laughs>